So I had to put a radiator in the cutlass yesterday. Apparently the little there's a bypass. Oh, where is it? Let's see if you can see it. The solder broke free and out it came. This radiator is 13 years old. It's an old Vista Pro copper core. Hey, 13 years. Got some life out of it. So I got a new plastic tank aluminum jobby. It's actually made pretty well. But I want to make a little snippet here. A lot of people are unsure where to hook up their steam line. Here's the steam line here. This quarter inch hose. Let me see how it goes. It's a little bypass. Here, this metal bypass. And on the new radiators, I don't know if they universalized this stuff, but if you look, you know, this is your upper transmission cooler connector. I'll give you a boss right here with a eighth inch in, you know, national pipe thread fitting. You just put a little nipple in there and nice little bypass. You're not tapping into the water pump like I've seen some people do. You're just simply hooking it up. Yeah. I figured I'd share this with people. If anyone's in, you know, shopping for a radiator, this style of radiator, I got it for a pretty good price. You don't need no fancy three-core aluminum radiator. These motors, all you need is a good, good cooling fan and, you know, quality coolant. And a good thermostat, of course. I'm running that Lincoln Mark 8 fan. And it's two speeds, and I rarely use high. It's always, most of the time, I use low speed. Unless I'm sitting in traffic and it's hot as hell outside. But, yeah, I figured I'd show you that. Here's the bypass hose. And right in there in the middle, that little boss. In the middle of the tank. This will help somebody out.